again. Both of these guys are fresh, new to Blazing Fridays, have never even played on my stream at all. We have Kingdom J on the player one side, Scrungo on player two, Kingdom J rocking with that Warren G West Coast connection. The West Coast boys, extremely tough. Very good toughness, very good health, and also have really interesting tools. Baby Chris, a little lesser known. Not really sure, you know, how that works out, but definitely curious to see how Scrungo puts it together. So, give me just a second, guys. We're gonna get the emulator situated here. Think you're gonna come in my house and take my shit? That ain't happening. Okay, who's ready? All right, folks, we are getting started. Once again, Kingdom J is on player one side. Scrungo's on player two. Warren G. Very awkward normals as you can see there. Very strong strings being a kickboxer and a wrestler. So he has the ability to kill anywhere on the screen. Baby Chris, another high level character, gets the parry, gets parry back and a heavy grab into the wall combo. Appreciate the follow, Psycho Blue. Thank you. Kingdom J not taking advantage of the stun. Still has the ability to blaze in here. All right, gets the full strings. Blazing still on the table. Opts not to use it. Goes for the kickboxing string. Goes for the full string, and we have game number one. West Coast is the best coach. You better recognize. Hey, we gonna see the loser post up and come back later, or what? All right, a very strong start here for Kingdom J. Take a game number one. Now, this is a battle card match, which means that this is a first to three. And again, the loser does have the ability to change characters and or stages. So we're gonna go back to the character select screen here as Scrungo takes some time to figure out what he wants to do. So we're going to go ahead and take our time here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I appreciate all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you all. Thank you for all for the new follows. Kawaii Face Miles in the building. Psycho Blue, appreciate the follow as well. And, of course, we are going with Warren G for Kingdom J. Scrungo looking around the character select screen one more time. Band characters are in effect. All right, so he's going to go with Baby Chris once again. Now, he is opting, Scrungo is opting to use the same character, but will Scrungo go to a different stage? Remember, the loser can pick a different stage if they opt to, and they can change characters at the same time. So this is definitely something that you want to keep in mind because stage awareness is a very huge deal. You got to be able to know which stages work best for your character as well as what stages just in general, you know, can probably give you that edge. Cuddlecore with the huge 95 viewer host. Thank you so much, girl. Appreciate you. Welcome all of you to the Armory. It's Blazing Friday's time with some hot Def Jam fight for New York action. Let's go. I'm hype. And we are going to the heights, ladies and gentlemen. This is a definitely interesting pick of a stage, considering that Warren G has kickboxing and wrestling. This is a stage that he can still function fairly well on. Being a kickboxer means he has access to the Muay Thai clinch, which gives him the opportunity to KO at will, and being a wrestler, giving him the opportunity to KO at will as well. Baby Chris, being a street fighter, does have the ability to use his haymaker, but it's a little harder for him because street fighters function best on stages with walls. This being because they can use the wall to loop their haymaker, but of course he is a kickboxer, so he has the ability to use the Muay Thai clinch here. And a great link off of the haymaker. Good stuff here from Strongo. Way stronger start, but gets parried. All right, nice start here from Scrungo. A little bit of back and forth here. Gets the grab, but no crowd interaction. Gets grabbed again. Finish the Muay Thai clinch with the wrestling grab. Gets a stun, doesn't take advantage. Nice interruption there from Kingdom J. 
King of J has Blazing. Does have the ability to use the freeze frame off of Blazing. Pops it. Oh, and a raw haymaker? Scrungle the madman. Nice, nice down attack there. Oh, get scooped. And a heavy grab here goes for the Blazing. Now, Def Jam does have what is called a double down rule, which means you cannot be stunned two times in a row, except when you use a super, but it doesn't matter. Baby Chris wakes up, has a nice flash of genius here, but of course, Warren G not really caring. And we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, both of these guys are at even health. However, Scrungo is in recovery mode, so if he gets hit at any given moment, all that recovering health is gone. Ooh, and a haymaker and a double haymaker off the crowd. That's going to be a stun. Oh, and a Muay Thai clinch. This is going to hurt so bad and gets the KO. We are at Damn, game number two, it, ladies son. and gentlemen. That's nasty. Scrungo fighting back. And let's move on here. Nice stuff there from both players. A lot stronger start from Scrungo. A lot of back and forth here. We are one game apiece, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is a first to three. First to three. And we are going back to the heights, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is a stage that both of these characters can kind of function on. Scrungo opting to use a stage that has less walls. So as you can see, take away the wall, and we are getting a lot more back and forth here. But Kingdom J fighting back, doing a great job here using those strings. Gets a nice heavy grab mix up into the wrestling grab. Warren G, though a wrestler, does not have the best wrestling grabs in the world. They're just kind of, you know, something to round out his kit. So as you can see there, normally wrestlers can stun off of heavy grabs, but in this case, since it's not Warren G's primary style, it doesn't really work out in this case. And a nice haymaker, and the crowd even wants a piece. Warren G, one of the toughest characters in the game, incredibly hard to stun. Nice heavy grab, mix up. Too many kicks on the Muay Thai, gets broken. Ooh, and another raw haymaker into the crowd interaction. Ooh, and another raw haymaker. Scrungo letting it fly here, pulling that trigger, gets grabbed out of the haymaker one more time. And he keeps throwing them out there, and he keeps getting them. Wow, later in the house, gets scooped. All right, Scrungo kind of backpedaling here, gets caught with a grab. Doesn't get the crowd. Kingdom J here fighting for his life. Gets a nice parry. No, but this is the grab opportunity. And baby Chris Scrungo losing out on the blazing. That is a good scenario for Kingdom J here. Threat of the super is now gone. But again, baby Chris, street fighting and KO can pretty much kill on command at this point. And gets the wall. There are only two wall spots on this stage, and Scrungo just found one of them, and he found the other, but he takes too long to finish. Another blazing opportunity for Scrungo here. And a nice stuff here. Fighting back, Kingdom J. This is a last ditch effort. He's gotta make this count. Gets the wall, and that's the guaranteed wall stun. No, blazing mode, activate, and another roll haymaker. That is incredibly disheartening if you're Kingdom J. That was the wall grab he needed. That is the wall grab animation that almost always guarantees stun. But the blazing stats gives him increased durability, which took away his stun opportunity. Now, as you can see here, there are no wall combos on the barbed wire. It just sends him into getting hit. And Scrongo takes Damn, game number three. Son. That was nasty. So we are 2-1, ladies and gentlemen. That was hot. This is a slugfest, for real. Scrungo is not having it. Like Baby Chris said, you think you're going to come in my house and take my shit? That ain't happening. All right, this is game, set, point for Scrungo. Kingdom J trying to fight back. Interrupts the raw haymaker. Very quick strikes here from 
from Warren G. That kickboxer elbow, very good stuff. And a nice kick parry on the grab gets the wall comp, gets the crowd combo. And that's a stun. Muay Thai clinch into the wrestling grab. And he immediately has Blazing available. And a nice counter here from Scrungo. Nice Blazing for the freeze frame. What's the mix up? I see a raw haymaker. He doesn't block it. No, that's not what you want. But again, Scrungo gets countered. Oh, and a nice parry there on the heavy kick, but doesn't get much off of that. And we are banging, ladies and gentlemen. Kingdom J here trying to fight for his life. If he loses this game, that is the set. Nice running grab off of the wall animation. The crowd, very integral in this case. Oh, it gets the grab. Oh, tries to go for another grab and gets caught. It's time to end this. this could be everything for Scrungo. He activates Blazing, but is he stunned? Yes, he is. No, he throws him. He doesn't get the super. Kingdom J gets the mix up. Nice Muay Thai clinch, but gets caught with another haymaker. Oh, and the Blazing's gone. A wasted opportunity. That is not what you want if you are Scrungo. Kingdom J has another chance here. One more combo, and he'll have Blazing, but he has to stop getting hit by these haymakers. All right. Nice approach. Gets the wall, gets the crowd animation, and that's a stun. No, he doesn't opt to pick him up. But he gets the charisma anyway, and that's a Blazing activation. With Blazing Mode activated, your fighter's stats are increased, which means your durability, your power, everything is heightened. So now he has a chance to get the super. No, but he does a regular grab move. Not like this. He gets the grab mix up, and that's a stun. All right, all he has to do is a heavy grab finish, and that'll be game three. No, he does a regular grab. No, not like this. Three A-makers in this game. Damn, you just got violated, son. That was nasty. More pain at the heights. We need to run out and get some more propane for the grill. What a starting set. That was insane. Scrungo taking his first game on Blazing Fridays with a 3-1 victory over Kingdom J. Shouts out to both competitors. A great showing. Definitely looking forward to seeing them back right here on the 